Hi, we're here today at the world headquarters of Promation Engineering to change a proportional actuator into an on-off jog actuator. So eventually this actuator will look like this actuator. The tools will need a small Phillips head, a larger Phillips head, a five millimeter uh, uh, hex, and a half inch thin. So the first thing we do is unhook the, very, uh, the connector between the switch card and the proportional card. So we're going to take the proportional card off, the temperature sensor, the uh, potentiometer, sector gear, uh, and, uh, and then you're pretty much done. It's a very simple type of operation. Always, when doing the, this though, don't want any power on the actuator. So you want to take any power that may be on the switch card or on the control, take the, the disconnect all those wires. So the first thing that we'll do is unhook the connector between the switch card and the proportional board. First thing we want to do is take our two and a half millimeter hex and remove the temperature sensor from the top of the motor. So we remove the motor connector to the uh, control card, remove the temperature sensor from the motor. Now we want to remove the potentiometer connector from the bottom of the card and we're ready to move the card from its plate. Remove the four screws holding the board in place. Now we want to remove two clips that are holding the heat sinks onto the bottom plate. Now we've removed the board. The board is uh, ready to be packaged. Don't really want to touch any of the parts on the board just in case for, for electrostatic discharge. So we removed the board and now we're ready to remove the bracket for the board by taking off two screws with our two and a half millimeter hex. One here. Two here. and we have the bracket off. The bracket is now off. We are going to remove the potentiometer. First take off the drive gear from the potentiometer, again with the two and a half millimeter. This, this, this just lifts right off. Now we're gonna take off the potentiometer. This is where the thin half inch comes in handy to get underneath to this lower set screw and the upper set screw. Now the potentiometer is off the bracket. The next step is to remove the sector gear, but before we can take the sector gear off, we need to take the top off. Before we take the top off, though, we want to mark where the top is in relation to the camshaft. The easiest way to do it, it doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be close enough, is just look where the line is and make a line with a Sharpie on the shaft itself, and that's where we'll put the closed and open position again. So we unscrew the screw holding the indicator. Then you want to use uh, any kind of pliers, though. You want to be able to come underneath and hold to get to the indicator and just slightly lift up on the indicator and then take the indicator off. 
Now we're ready to remove the sector gear. Again, five millimeter hex. Unscrew the sector gear. Lift off the sector gear. See where the indicator is. Put the indicator back on. Screw the indicator, screw back into place, and we have essentially converted this actuator from a proportional to an on-off actuator that looks exactly like this actuator.